everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's just state the obvious. It's a new month, so my hair is blonde again. Yes, I was kind of missing my platinum blonde hair, and so I decided to go back to it, and hopefully I'll bring back the colors, but right now I am really liking the super white blonde look. I want to thank Italia, like the country, for giving me back this beautiful hair color. Uh, go follow her, I'll link it down below, and go follow her salon, and just big thank you to her. In other news, I just competed in my first USAPL meet in over three years, I believe. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know what I hit, my numbers that I got. But if you did not follow me on Instagram, I'm going to kind of break down what happened at my meet and exactly like the big drama that was behind it. It was not a really big drama. I'm just, I'm blowing this out of proportion, but it was like, it was a great meet overall. Just the lowdown of everything. I competed um, in Rancho Chucamonga, uh, the USAPL state champs, and I competed in the 125 weight class, which is 57 kilos. I weighed in at 123.8 pounds, around 56.2 kilos. Two hour weigh in, not a problem, ate food. I went nine for nine. So this is the first meet I've ever gone nine for nine on any of my attempts. I usually go like anywhere between like six for nine to seven for nine. Um, I've bombed out of meets before. So this has been my very first meet I've done perfect in my attempts. I also ended up with a big PR. I'll talk about that later, but let's start with my <laughs> drama. What happened at the very beginning of the meet. So, um, I was supposed to be in flight B. Uh, I looked at the schedule and everything. It was flight B. I looked at my email. Um, I was just supposed to be in flight B. And apparently a lot of people dropped out of the meet. So that morning they kind of like switched everything around and um, I didn't get like a notification type of warning or anything that I was supposed to switch to flight A. In the back warm up room, there was no printed list. They told us we had to look at our phones to check our flights, to check to see who's going up and everything. Uh, so I went on my phone, but the app wasn't really working for me. Um, not the app, but the website wasn't really working for me. It just had a list of names. It didn't say any of the flights or anything. So I assumed I was in flight B again. Assuming makes an ass out of you and me, which definitely made an ass out of me <laughs> because I never should have assumed anything. So I'm not blaming USAPL. I'm kind of partially blaming myself. I should probably be on top of this a little bit more. But um, anyways, I was warming up as I would for flight B and Flight A was just about to start, so I just was doing my mobility. I was just stretching in the back room, and then I was like, oh, wait, you know what? I'm gonna start warming up for squats. So I was waiting for a rack to warm up, and I heard my name on the announcements, and I was like, that can't be right. And my friend, she, she was looking at me, and she was like, Amber, they're calling your name. Like, you're supposed to be squatting right now. And I was like, what? So I was like, I was freaking out. Like I, I didn't warm up or anything. So I ran to, I ran to where my belt was and I grabbed my belt and then some guy came up to me. He was like, oh no, 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 you're, you're fine. I think it's a mix up. You should be in flight B still. Cause he like had his phone out and everything. I was like, okay, cool. So I'm in flight B. But then they kept announcing my name. They're like, Amber Allboy, you're squatting right now. And I was like, no, what? I was like, that can't be me. Like, I was supposed to be in flight B, not flight A. So then I ran to the announcer's table and I see the weight, my opener, already loaded on the squat rack. And then I go and I'm like, I'm supposed to be in flight B. Am I like, am I wrong? And then they showed me the card and says, oh, they switched you to flight A. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I was like, in my head, I'm, I immediately thought, I'm gonna bomb out. There's no way I can, I can just squat my opener without like warming up. So I go back to the back room. I grab my belt again. I forgot my wrist straps and I go onto the platform. Like I only have, I think at this time, I have no idea how many seconds were left on the clock, but I made it in time, thank God. So I get under the bar. I, it felt really light. I was like, okay, lift like you do in the gym and you should be fine. So I squatted my opener and I thought I didn't hit depth. I was like, fuck, this was really high. And I guess I did hit depth, except for one hip. My bad hip um, didn't hit depth. So I got two out of three uh, lights, and I, I was still in the meat. I was like, what the fuck? Like, how does this happen? Like, I'm 
like I should have bombed out like this seriously I should have failed it but I guess it was an easy opener so I guess I picked the right number for my opener and I played it conservative I jumped up uh, 2.5 kilos and then um, I hit that as well and it moves really fast so we jumped up another I believe five kilos nothing too big uh, just because again I did not have any warm-ups and so I uh, got my third attempt wasn't the number I wanted it was very light to, for, to what exactly I could have hit so um, I didn't put any stress on it I was like you know what shit happens you either can complain about it or you can laugh about it and I decided to laugh about it because I mean it's funny like how I don't know it's I thought it was funny to me moving on to bench I got uh, my opener pretty easily my second attempt was a little shaky I missed grooved it and um, you can see it was a little bit slower than my first attempt and then on my third attempt I got a little bit tighter and I had a better bar path and my third attempt felt really easy um, which was an actually a PR because I normally bench on my toes and this was the first time on my with my feet flat so um, yeah I'm happy about that and then for deadlifts deadlifts felt super easy um, my opener flew up <laughs> My second attempt flew up. Let's go, babe. a meat PR with 407 pounds and it felt so easy like I would I have been chasing 407 pounds 180 so 185 kilos for like literally the last two years like that has been a goal of mine and I finally got it and I'm just super just super super happy about that and um, yeah I'm I'm excited to compete in Raw Nationals this upcoming year, so it will be a new experience for sure. Uh, so if you guys are at Raw Nationals, I will be there. Thank you guys for just watching all my YouTube videos of me training. Thank you guys for supporting me on IG. And um, yeah, just thank you guys so much. And this was just a small meet recap. Um, hopefully, <laughs> Samira's staring at me through the window. Hi, Samira. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is my view right now <laughs> but again I just want to give you guys a big thank you for just like all your support and um, I will be back with some more training videos and all that stuff I will be in off season so you will see conventional deadlifts yes you will see conventional deadlifts and closer grip bench so you're welcome and high bar squats so uh, thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe and I will put out a new video soon as I feel a little bit more strong <laughs> okay